So I'm sure you've all seen the media with uh, the whole debacle that's going on at the moment with Novak Djokovic and him trying to come into play the Australian Open. Um, people have been really upset. I've seen lots of commentary on social media, in the news. People are upset that he was given an exemption and now he's been actually stopped at the border. Apparently the border control doesn't accept the exemption. And of course it's a big mess. But I was thinking about why were we as Victorians so upset? Why are so many Australians and Victorians in particular so upset that he was given an exemption? I think the obvious reason is because it feels personal. So many people for, ye for over two years haven't been able to see their loved ones, have suffered under the restrictions and the lockdowns, all which of course has caused it to feel personal. And seeing somebody who's a celebrity, who's uh, obviously a very wealthy person, and to think that he was given these exemptions because of his status, of course feels hurtful and feels painful. And it's interesting because there's, there's a related teaching in our parasha this week, the parasha of Bo. You know, you see Paro, Pharaoh, when it comes to the, the plagues that were occurring in his nation, he doesn't seem to really get riled up as much as he does when it comes to the plague of the firstborn. That's when you really see a change in character, where he becomes threatening. And of course, he tells Moshe, we'll never see your face again. And the question is, why? Why all of a sudden? And many commentators explain that the reason was now it was personal for Paroi, because he was a firstborn and he was scared this is going to affect him. According to many commentaries, the other plagues didn't really affect him. Some say they did, but this one, which was going to really obviously have an effect on Paroi, so all of a sudden it woke him up. Now, I think there's a very profound teaching in this. At times when we see things, if it doesn't affect us personally, we often turn a blind eye or we don't even take interest or we, we ignore something. When something affects us, when we feel, when we understand the particular pain or, or issue that is occurring, it does, of course, arouse within us a whole different response. And we've seen that with Novak Djokovic. All of us as Victorians felt this was almost like a personal attack on us. And the obvious lesson for us is to, at times, not only be impacted or, or react when we feel something because it's personal to us, we also need to be cognizant of things when it's not necessarily personal to us. If you see someone struggling, if you see a particular community issue which may not have any relevance to you, don't just ignore it because it doesn't concern you or it's not involving your life or your personal circumstances. We have to rise above the occasion. We cannot be like a paroi who only responds when it's personal to him. We have to respond when it's difficult and challenging and dangerous to others. And then we also have to react. We also have to be there to help and to assist. So whatever happens with Novak, whatever your personal opinion is, at least we can learn something from this particular behavior in our own betterment of our own lives, in our own way going forward to help others. Have a beautiful weekend and a Shabbat Shalom.